Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi guys, uh, this is Rob, and uh, um, today's topic is COVID. Uh, and many, many of you folks out there already have had COVID, and uh, many of you who think you won't have it will get it. Um, we're at that really highly contagious strain. Fortunately, not as... Um, health threatening as the ones before it, especially if you've had vaccinations. So, um, uh, but I want to talk about what it's like for people who live as a nomad in it, specifically for people who don't have resources that other folks do. That may be one of your big fears is if you go on the road, um, what happens if you get really sick? And each situation and each illness is going to be a little different from one another. Um, but this is our Marvie and my experience with COVID. She's still um, kind of in bed right now. She's doing better and I'm, <laughs> I'm doing better. Got a little bit of a lung thing left. But um, fortunately, we are real believers in science and we are real believers in vaccinations and um, uh, booster shots. And, and I believe that while, you know, we still got it, practicing all of the safety measures we had, um, we didn't end up in the hospital. I, I know quite a few people, friends of mine, that politically we disagree on many different things. Unfortunately, I, I think they ended up in hospitals because uh, they weren't vaccinated uh, because of whatever beliefs that they have. Um, well, thank you there, Jax. My dog wants me to throw the ball. Um, okay, go. <laughs> um, but we do. It's just a matter of, of disagreeing on on whether you believe in science or not, and um, based on your own political perspectives or or whatever. I, I really don't want to get into that. But those are the things we believe in. If you disagree and want to check out of our channel, you're more than welcome to exit. But um, we we tried to avoid all the political stuff and religious stuff on the channel. I have very strong opinions on all of that. But this is not the place. You guys want to come here and uh, and find out things about on the road and but that's part of who we are so it may come up now and then and um, you're gonna have to deal with that on whatever terms you, you deal with it but um, well look at that it's a boomerang ball <laughs> um, I guess I shouldn't record with a playful dog around me but anyway so what do we want to talk about van life and getting covid well and again everybody's situation is different if you live near family or you have resources where if you're getting ill with something you can go and see them and you have that support system if you don't uh like us we we really don't have any of those things um, fortunately, there's two of us, so we have someone to take care of each other. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, I'm going to be alone. Well, you are, but there is still a strong community of people. I think Jackson is kind of like video bombing me because he knows I'm making videos. But anyway, the um, I, I believe that um, there's enough support out there with uh, in the community that you can have you know, a network of friends, whether it be in a caravan or individuals that you meet on the road. And people like us, we're always willing to help someone. If somebody is close by us, well, again, we're not a big tribal, big community of people uh, into that. But uh, boy, we always look after each other. Anytime we're camping near anyone and something strange is happening, we always did, we always try to help out folks. Um, and I, I think you'll find that everyone does. But so what happened to us? Well, I think in the last video, I had mentioned that Marvie was sick. And coincidentally, about a year ago, we were south of Tucson and Marvie had gotten pneumonia. And we drove at two in the morning um, all the way back up to um, Las Vegas to our doctors. Uh, and so this year, and the temperature hit, and even though it started to go down, we knew we had to be up within the next three weeks or whatever for doctor's appointments. But we thought just in case it was COVID or something, we want to be somewhere in case we took a turn for the worst. And, uh, and so we got up here 
and she was still feeling pretty sick, and uh, her temperature was about 100, 101, and uh, I was feeling okay, but I felt like I might be getting something, and at that time, we really thought it was a flu, because we didn't understand the Omicron symptoms, and we thought, well, there's no loss of smell or anything, and the flu doesn't stop going around just because COVID's here. So we decided to go out into the desert, so we went to government wash, but first we went to Walmart, and I knew, well, well, if I'm getting really sick, we need to stock up on chicken and onions and celery and all the things that you're going to make soup out of and, and plenty of waters that we can survive for that time. Um, well, things did get worse, and so we finally found a drugstore that did the testing, and we found out we both were positive. And I did have a doctor's appointment scheduled uh, for the 31st, and I canceled that because I knew that I wouldn't be well enough at that point. So go lay down. So so what we did was um, we decided to head to Pahrump, Nevada, and this is where we've been domiciled for three years at. It's about an hour west of Las Vegas, and it's just kind of a one-strip town. Um, and why we chose this um, was that they do have a hospital um, if things were to get bad, but also the camping, the free BLM camping is only like a half a mile from the main road or maybe a mile at the most, and it's wide open. And so if one of us ended up in the hospital, especially me, uh, Marvie wouldn't have to, for example, contend with coming into the hospital and trying to figure out how to drive in Las Vegas traffic and getting lost trying to find out where she was going to go camping. Conveniently wise, this would be the town that works well for us because, you know, you've got your place to stay for free and then you know the hospital, Walmart, everything. It's only a mile away, maybe a mile and a half. So all in all, this was a choice we made to kind of um, stay in bed and try to nurture ourselves through being sick so um and that's it really we we're we're getting much better now um marvi and i are both feeling great i have <laughs> i have a little bit more um junk in my lungs but the temperatures are gone i'm still feeling pretty weak but um overall we're, we're getting much better and again i'm really grateful that we made those decisions to get the boosters and uh we still mask up we're still adamant on and believer on um even if i was contagious I feel pretty comfortable that I was not spreading it to anyone else, especially those people who've chosen not to wear masks and not to be vaccinated. There's no reason to to make them sick just because of their, their decisions. So um, that's kind of where we're at. So where do we go from here? Well, we do have doctor's appointments scheduled out in about seven or 10 days, really depending on if I test again negative. And then, um, we will probably be spending a lot of time at Government Wash uh, and uh, Las Vegas. We're ordering things we need. One of the things we're getting is a electric heater, a little space heater, and I will review it as we go through, mainly because even though in probably about two or three weeks we'll notice a really quick warming trend here, um, and we've gotten by without it. Uh, the new work camp job that we're going to have is going to be about 2,500, 7,500 feet above sea level in the Colorado mountains. And I think when we start in late March, it's still going to be in the low 20s at night. And so since we're going to be given um, power and a place to camp, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a shore power plug, which I haven't put into my van because we never, ever, ever, ever stay in campgrounds. And we never, ever, ever stay in campgrounds in spots where you have utilities uh, and hookups. We just, we've never done that. I, I just could not imagine um, really doing that. So, um, but we're going to get that as part of our package. So um, we will talk about that more when we come. Um, I still have to wire the truck for the shore power. and uh, But we're going to have more videos now that we're kind of into the new year. I wanted to keep this relatively short, but just let everyone know that 
we're doing much, much better and uh, than we were. And uh, it is possible to live as a nomad and um, handle things like the coronavirus. The biggest thing is to have your vehicle prepared. Make sure you have the food that you need. Make sure you have the water that you need and uh, the waste disposal system, something set up, uh, enough paper towels, enough toilet paper and tissues and um, get us get some place where there's good internet and and so you have a subscription to Netflix or something to bide your time a lot of tea I'm a coffee addict and and I love my coffee and I probably am gonna have my first cup of coffee um, after filming this but um, but for the last week I have been pretty much drinking tea so make sure you have a lot of tea and you guys thanks for watching please be careful I don't care what you believe in just protect yourself and protect other folks okay um, that's it and we'll see you guys um, in on the next video thanks bye oh what 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 one 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 more thing um, don't make any comments politically. I'll just delete them. I don't really care if you don't believe in things and you're a conspiracy theorist or what I call a look upper. You know, if it's not founded in science, um, don't don't put it on. I'll just I'll just take it off. Um, actually, even if it isn't science, you know, you can agree with me or disagree with me, but I won't allow anything on our page that spreads disinformation. I just won't. You're probably wonderful people, and when I meet you on the road, we have so much in common. But I'm very anti the spread of um, disinformation. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, love you guys. Um, take care. We'll see you next video. Bye.